Welcome to Beverly Hills, California. This is Maple Drive, and today we have a good one for you. Now today's video is going to be about the legendary entertainer, singer, actor, uh, part of the comedic duo, Martin and Lewis. This is gonna be Dean Martin. Now this is the Beverly Hills neighborhood that Dean Martin called home in the final years of his life. He lived just up here in a house to my left. We're gonna go up and take a look at it. And then we're gonna go visit and pay our respects to him at Pierce Brothers Westwood Memorial Park. But this is North Maple Drive. And these are called the Flats of Beverly Hills. If you keep going straight in front of me, the Hollywood Hills is just past sunset. But this is where a lot of the old school legends lived. Now there's a lot of beautiful homes here. I'll show you a couple as I walk by. Now, nobody famous lived in this house, but obviously you'd have to have a lot of money to live here. Most of the houses here sell for anywhere between seven to $20 million, give or take. A lot of them go back quite a ways. Uh, pretty impressive houses. Hal Roach lived on this road. Uh, George Burns lived two blocks up. So years ago, this was a mecca for Hollywood celebrities. But for today's purposes, we're gonna talk about Dean Martin who lived here in the last years of his life, he passed away in the home that we're gonna walk by, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about his life. Now, Dean Martin was born in 1917 in Steubenville, Ohio, and he was one of the most popular entertainers uh, that there ever was. He rose to fame teaming up with Jerry Lewis as the comedy team Martin and Lewis, which is where most people first started to get to know who Dean Martin was. They ended their partnership in 1956, and Martin pursued a career as a solo artist and an actor. And he was one of the most popular acts in Las Vegas and he became friends with Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. He was part of the very famous Rat Pack. And the Rat Pack consisted of some of the most talented people in Hollywood. And they pretty much ran Las Vegas. They, they all had very popular shows. Frank Sinatra, one of the biggest names to come out of the entire century. And, um, you know, Sammy Davis Jr., he was an entertainer known to do it all. Dean Martin, pretty much the same thing. He became host of the Dean Martin Show. And then from 1974 to 1984, he was the host of the Dean Martin Celebrity Roasts, which was the first time that I had ever seen him because I'm of a younger generation, but I appreciate old school Hollywood. Now this home on the right hand side of the screen, this was the final home of Dean Martin. And I'll walk across the street to give you a better view in just a second. But for a little bit more background, Dean Martin was in eight, over 85 films and TV shows, over 50 million records sold worldwide. So one of the biggest acts there ever was. Now in 1993, he was diagnosed with lung cancer and he rejected uh, surgery to prolong his life. He didn't wanna do it. And he was having kind of a hard time because he, he lost his son, Dean Martin Jr. in 1987. He was in the California Air National Guard and he was killed in a crash during a military training flight. And Dean Martin never really got over this. Now I'll walk up on the house so you can see it a little bit better. Now he actually passed away in this home on Christmas Day in 1995 at the age of 78 from acute respiratory failure and emphysema. It's just the next house over. It's a beautiful house and it looks exactly the same as it did when Dean Martin lived here. I have no idea who lives here now, but I'm gonna give you the best view of it that you can. But you could probably imagine Dean Martin coming out here with his coffee in hand and you know, maybe even something else. He was a notorious drinker for a long time. And you could pretty much always count on seeing Dean Martin out on town in one of the fancy restaurants in Beverly Hills. And he really liked to hang out at a place called the Hamburger Hamlet on Sunset Strip. It's no longer there anymore, but it was a legendary place. Lucille Ball used to hang out there. And, um, you know, just a a really interesting piece of Hollywood history, though, because, you know, a lot of these places, they're tearing down. But this was the final home of Dean Martin. He did have other homes in Beverly Hills at various times, but this is the home that he that he called home in the final years of his life. And this is where he lived his final day. 
Now from a little digging online, this, this home is a three bedroom, three bathroom home, a little over 3,100 square feet, which is tiny by Beverly Hills standards. After Dean Martin passed away, the home went up for sale, sold for $875,000, and it's worth over $7 million today. Now here we are at Pierce Brothers Westwood Memorial Park in Los Angeles, just a couple miles away from the Dean Martin home. Now this is one of the most star-studded cemeteries anywhere in the world, and it's off a very busy street right off Wilshire Boulevard but a very interesting place to come, and I will do more videos from here in the future. But for now, let's go visit Dean Martin. Now, Dean Martin is just up here. If you've ever been to this cemetery, Marilyn Monroe is straight ahead of me in this wall. Um, Dean Martin, if you come into the cemetery, he's about three quarters of the way around the loop, but he's in the Sanctuary of Love just up here. Now, I'll tell you a little bit more about the funeral that they had here. They had a service at the chapel in the cemetery grounds, and Dean's, it said that Dean's body was not there, just an Italian flag and a photo of him. Now, Dean is just inside here, and this is a really beautiful place to be, because as you can see, there is a spot here, almost kind of like a skylight, that lets a lot of light in, and it's just a very beautiful, bright place to be. But going back to his funeral, others who attended included Jerry Lewis, Rosemary Clooney, Shirley MacLaine, Tony Danza, Bob Newhart, Charlie Sheen, Charles Nelson Riley, Dorothy Hamill, Don Rickles, Robert Stack, who's actually buried not too far away from here. Frank Sinatra is said to have skipped it, but he sent his wife. Rosemary Clooney uh, closed off the funeral by singing Everybody Loves Somebody Sometime, which is actually on his marker up here. Dean Martin was always known as a, a really fun guy to be around, a funny guy, a really good sense of humor. Um, you know, he was a drinker, he was a smoker, which didn't help him later in life, but he was a really great guy to be around. But after the death of his son, um, he kind of changed. And at that point, um, you know, when it came to be the end of his life, he wasn't really willing to fight for his life anymore, which you can easily understand. But he did have pretty bad health for the last couple of years of his life, which was pretty sad because he, he was one of the greatest. And he ended up passing away on Christmas Day of 1995. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and gotten to take in a little bit of Hollywood history with Dean Martin's home. But that's all I have for today, so thank you so much for watching. And be sure to tune in for future videos because there's a lot of good stuff coming up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.